Let's start working on question 2.1 over here. So we have two types of workers with low ability and with high ability. Now, workers know their ability, but the firm cannot observe it. Suppose that a degree, getting a degree is easier for a high ability worker. The equivalent of the utility loss from getting a degree is equal to 30 for a high ability worker because it's easier, so he loses less utility. And it's 70 for a low ability worker because it's harder to get it. Now, what do we have in part A? Suppose that the wage for workers with a degree is 200, let's call it dollars, and for workers without a degree is $100. Now, will the degree reveal the worker's ability to the firm? What's the intuition here? If the degree reveals the ability, it means that only the better workers will go for it because they are the one more likely to get it. So wait, let's see if that's going to be the case. Let's see what is the choice, what is the outcome of every type of worker, the high ability and the low ability, to get a degree. Now, if we are a high ability worker, if we are skilled, we know that the utility loss from getting a degree would be equal to 30. Well, if the wage from getting a degree pays us $200 and we have a utility loss of 30, so let's see what's the final outcome. If we are a high ability worker, we would have $200 from our wage minus $30 worth of utility because we have to study for it. So that would give us $170 worth of utility from getting a degree. Now, $170 worth of utility is better than the 100 of not getting a degree. So yes, it's worth getting the degree for the high ability workers. These ones will go for the degree. Now let's compare this to the low ability worker. What does the low ability worker do? Let's do the same math over here. For a low ability worker, is he gonna get the degree? Well, the wage of the degree is 200, but for the low ability worker, he must incur a loss of 70. So his wage would be finally, or not wage, but the net utility, so to speak, is 200 minus the 70 loss of getting the degree, that would be 130. Now, if he gets 130 from getting the degree, although he is low skilled, and his alternative is getting 100 without the degree, even the low skilled, the low ability worker is gonna go for the degree. So yes, even though he is low skilled, he will go for the degree. Now, will the firm recognize which one has the degree and which one doesn't? No, because they both will go for the degree. I'm sorry, will the firm recognize which one is high skilled, high ability worker and which one is low ability worker? No, the firm will not recognize because they both have the degree. So there's no differentiation between them. Hope this makes sense. In the next video, we'll go to part B.